We're here with Jeremy Talent at G3 RC getting practice in. Uh, got inside his buggy. So how I start off is shockles and pistons. Okay. Uh, start in the front of the car and then we work to the back of the car. To the back of the car. All right. Yeah. Uh, and first of all, you're sponsored by a piston company, right? VRP. There we go. Yeah. So if you haven't tried their 20 hole, uh -huh. I suggest it. Okay. Um, I'm actually in Truggy. I'm running the 20 hole with the red valves uh, on the front uh -huh. and on the back. And then on the buggies, I'm running the golds on the front and the red uh, valving on the on the back. Okay, okay. Uh, Shockles, what, what you have on the front? Uh, Truggy is 650, 600. And then buggy is... 500 450 okay um uh, front sway bar we i just bumped it up okay I, i've been bumping it up since the middle of last year uh -huh. so i think i was on a 2 2 or something like that okay. and now i'm all the way up um two four two five okay just depending on grip and okay. then the back i've bumped it up too uh i was on a two, I don't know, two four, and I'm on a two six now. Okay, okay. And the shock holes in the back, would you? I am on four fifty. Okay. In the buggy. In the buggy. Yep. Okay. Uh, front diff. What fluid you got in the front diff? Um, I run. Today I tried it. Okay. Uh, I normally run twelve fifty ten five, but. I know we're going back towards summer, so it's time to bump it up. Uh -huh. And today was a good test with uh, 15, 12 and a half, seven in it. Okay. Yeah, okay. from front to rear. Okay, okay. Uh, tires. OGO all the way, bro. Okay. What, do you do anything special to your tires? I do. Um, so if you want to. <laughs> certain, so with certain brands, uh -huh. You get a little bit of movement in your phone uh -huh. inside your tire. Right. With the OGO, since I switched mm -hmm. uh, last year, mm -hmm. um, I've started gluing my phones to my rims. Okay. Um, I'll slide it all the way so the the leading edge of the the ribs uh -huh. are against the front bead, and it gets all the play out of the front sidewall of your tire. Okay. Okay. So you can feel that it's it's stiff compared to. Yeah. Compared to the back. Right. Where there's. Yep. Yeah. And that gives more comfort and like predictability of the car. Okay. Because like, with that phone when you're sliding around, it changes your grip. It just made the car edgy, do weird things. And then once I started gluing my phones, straightened it right up. Okay. And now I can get away with running a softer tire too. Okay. okay. Without gripping, bicycle flipping and um you do once, that on your practice tires too like uh, yep uh, every tire every tire every tire okay okay um now certain certain conditions it'll hurt you a little bit like you want that balloon in extra grip mm -hmm. um i i tend to work with the car a little bit if i need it okay okay um i'm a uh, um 10 scale guy and we use tire sauce do y'all do y'all do that in a scale uh s certain times certain times uh here recently that's something that's kind of new to a scale since i got out of it okay. about five years ago and getting right. back into it right um i was at a blue ridge race and i was about two seconds off per lap uh -huh. in e-buggy and nitro uh -huh. um i actually got to snooping around watching the other drivers mm -hmm. and i seen will mcgyver right. yeah. <laughs> he was over there doping a set of tires right, right. i went over i got bright did the same thing and boom there was the two seconds in both classes i was missing went from middle of the pack to second and third overall i think it was mm -hmm. just comfort it, it it just makes you feel so much more comfortable with the car okay. it's it's like whenever you go from too hard of a tire to you hit the money right on the, on the right compound was there any particular sauce that you, you, you use or did you all liquid wrench 
All liquor wrench. Okay. okay. It's uh, the owl label. Mm -hmm. I've heard from some pros that's all they use mm -hmm. because, and I felt the same way. If I used a different brand, mm -hmm. sometimes it would hook up, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, it would, sometimes you get like a greasy feel. Mm -hmm. uh, liquor wrench, I never got it. Okay. okay. And if you need it to activate more, put heat to it. Okay. Make them in. Uh, I see you use Sanwar Radio. Yes, sir. Been uh, on it uh, three years now. Okay. And I used to run the M11 back in the day. So. Okay. 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 So you just kind of stuck with. Yeah, I like the the trigger pull right. on the Sanwar. The only one I found that was kind of close was uh, Spectrum, and I ran them for a couple of years. Uh huh. Uh, I tried a Fataba, me and Fataba just didn't get along. It, it's kind of weird, their trigger pull yeah. is opposite of what these feel. You, like, um, you have more trigger pull, uh -huh. less break throw. Right. So your break throw is less, more throttle throw. Okay. Fataba's opposite, and I could never get used to that. Okay. You had more break throw, less throttle throw. Uh, do you run e-buggy or anything e yeah. E anything? Yep, I run e buggy, e truggy, nitro buggy, uh, nitro truggy, and I even have a two wheel drive buggy I haven't broke out yet. Uh -huh. a scale. <laughs> um, so, your setups that we talked about uh, here just recently, do you run that in your e buggy and e truggy also, or yep. is they different? Yep, okay. I, everything. Um, I used to mess with my kick up in the front mm -hmm. on the old RS car, mm -hmm. but with the world spec, they're identical. Identical. Identical setups. Um, do you have an electronic sponsor with your e-buggy and e-truggy or no? No. No. Uh, I run Hobby Wing though. So okay. I've had really good luck over the years with them. Uh, Hobby Wing motors too? Yeah. Okay. So, Hobby Wing cross the board? Yep. Uh, 1900 motor in the buggy, uh, 2050 in the e-truggy. Okay. How often do you practice? Every time I come here, you're always here. So. As much as possible. Okay. It's it's speeding my reaction time up. Anytime I can just work on my hand and eye coordination. Right. That's where the speed is. Okay. Okay. Um, do you like the dry, dry, dusty practice tracks? Do you like uh, right after it rains and has a little moisture? Um, I like about any track condition besides like paved track. <laughs> Okay. When it just gets so blue grooved that it's like driving it on the street. Right. Anything besides that, it's good. Okay. Um, all right, so we got to, oh, your sponsors. Who are your sponsors? All right, so we got HB. Um, that's the first chassis deal I've actually signed on with in the 20 years of racing. Right. And uh, I can't be more happy with a car. Like all four cars, took them to Georgia uh -huh. two weeks ago, mm -hmm. put them all four in A's, uh, even with having issues with transponders in two of them. Um, they drive close enough that I can run them and it, I can adjust to it. Uh -huh. uh, it didn't mess me up so bad, it just ruined my whole race program. So, uh, hot bodies, good car. Okay. Um, G3 RC, Yep. they helped me with Anything custom I need, like uh, front wings, um, wing buttons, uh, starter box plates. Oh, he so has you, wing buttons too. Yes, he does wing buttons too. Okay. Um, the starter box plates is actually a very cool thing. You can uh -huh. start your buggy and truggy off the same starter box. Um, and, and if you come up with something that can be 3D printed, uh -huh. head Gary up. G3. Uh, he can. He's easy to work with. Yeah. Good guy. Yeah. Um, then we got Dialed RC. Uh, they come on with Fame Wolf, and uh, they were with the VP tires mm -hmm. at first. Uh, I'm waiting on his new wings to come out so I can test with that, mm -hmm. and we'll see where that goes next year. Um, then we got Beach RC. Yep. Brian, uh, Brent, yeah. one of the best people you'll meet. Yeah. Friendly, good guy. Brent, um, Lucas, and Paco. Yes, <laughs> yes. You got you got to bring up the crew. Yeah. And the, and the big old truck now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
him, he's took my whole racing program to another level with the ultimate stuff. Uh -huh. I can keep good motors on my cars mm -hmm. and it, performance is there. Nine minutes to the tank most of the time, yeah. sometimes 10. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I use the shock oils and fluids. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. I yeah. was on them for a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I switched over to the BRP when I Got picked the, them up. Yep. Yes. Uh, one up racing. Uh, okay. I got them. They're good company. Uh, bullet ends for your batteries, mm -hmm. all kind of accessories. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we got OGO. Yep. Yep. Uh, Peach State. Well, oh, somebody told me they said it, I was pronouncing Ogo, and they were like, "It's Ogo." Ogo. And yeah. I'm like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, it goes back and forth. Yeah. Um, good company. Uh, as soon as I jumped on their tires, I seen an improvement. Okay. Uh, Lee Flowers, Lance Flowers, and their dad. Mm -hmm. Good people. Like, that's that's the reason I got the companies I got. Okay. Uh, the people that run it. They they support me and they help me a lot. And, and they're good people. Ogo 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 tires. What compound and what tire do you prefer? Uh, I'm known for being on the softest tire on the track most of the time. Okay. So it's ultra soft, and once again, that's where gluing the foams help. Okay. I don't get the bowing, and it helps with the car. Okay. Uh, I do go, if the track gets really abrasive, mm -hmm. temperature's higher than the, the groove, mm -hmm. uh, I'll temp it. And if it gets over 85, 90, mm -hmm. then we're talking about like a super soft, maybe even a soft if it's so abrasive. Okay, okay. Um, last resort's going harder on the tire for me for some reason. Okay. Uh, do you punch holes in your phones or no? Just the rims. Just the rims? Yep. No tire, no foam. Okay. Uh, fuel. What fuel do you um, prefer or what? I'm on VP. Okay. Um, and it's the race blend. Okay. Good stuff. Um, I've you don't have a fuel sponsor. So. No, I don't. So this is just my opinion <laughs> on the stuff. Right. Um, it. I can get away with having my motor closer to lean mm -hmm. and being able to push the car and then not keep going leaner. Okay, uh, okay. The fuel I was on before, I, I, I won't right. say anything, but right. if I was a tad bit off on the lean side mm -hmm. and I got behind and started pushing, mm -hmm. the motor just kept going leaner and leaner. And then it got to the point where I just couldn't drive it. It was just too too much of a monster. Right. So um, I think the oil content and stuff like that in the VP uh -huh. makes it easier and to tune and uh, keep it from going uh, lean on you. Do you have a glow plug sponsor? Or? No, I use uh, OS P Force okay. all year round. All year round. All year round. Don't switch. Okay. Okay. Uh, motor. You say you run Ultimate Racing motor. Yes, sir. And everything. Like, is there is there a difference in their motor like sizes? I don't know anything about nitro. Um. Like what I'm trying to say is. What motor, what ultimate racing motor do you run? So they have a, uh, they have the S uh -huh. and then they have the T. Okay. Um, the MXS, I think it is, and MXT, uh -huh. which they just dropped the MXR. And it's supposed to be the S, but uh, smoother and uh, you get your gas mileage, uh, just little tweaks on the sleeve and stuff like that okay. from the S. Uh, the T is for the Truggy. Yep. Um, I actually have one of them spare that I just put on my right. my spare brand new buggy I built for racing. So right. um, I know Jake Strack Leather runs them. Uh -huh. uh, the T on his buggies too. Okay. So. Uh, clutches? Is there any any? Um, I run the stock three stock shoe okay. uh, hot bodies. Um, I'm more of a three shoe person over the four shoe. Mm -hmm. I just like the instant grab more and the force you just it mellowed it out a little bit too much for me on bottom man. Okay. Um, what's y'all's next big race? Uh, we're looking at Pro-Am I think. Okay. Pro-Am and then um, 
it's between Pearl Am and Wicked. Okay. I, 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 we've we've talked about going to Wicked, and I don't know if we're gonna do that or if we're just Pro Am, and then uh, you got the Peach State race. Yep. Uh, and then you have the Fall Brawl. Okay. Uh, we're in with them. We help uh, build a driver stand, pit road, uh. and staging for all them events. Okay. Okay. If people want to get after you or contact you, if, like set up help or, or sponsorship, maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, how they reach you? Uh, you can check me out on Facebook, okay. Jeremy Talent. Okay. Um, it stays uh, RC racing pictures most of the time, so right. right. You'll, you'll be able to pick me up on it. Okay. Look for the bat. Right. Right. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. I mean. You were dialed today. I got some footage, so uh, sure. yeah, I've been coming here every time I come here. You know, you're always here. But thank you so much for the, the interview and the, inside your buggies. No problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm.